So I flew up from Florida for two main targets, Snowy Owl, which we're going for later, and these. Earlier in the year, a birder from Florida named Will contacted us about doing a birding tour in Wisconsin. Will was a player on the football team at the University of Miami, but he also has many other hobbies, including birding, and he had never seen many of the northern winter species before. Today is his first day in the Badger State, and I picked him up from the airport to start our search. What's up, buddy? Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. I can take your bag for you. Where are I? I can take your bag. Oh, thanks. Appreciate that. How about it? A route took us up and down the Lake Michigan lakefront in an effort to get Will as many lifers as possible. Our first stop was Sheboygan, where we hoped to see some winter ducks, including the three male harlequin ducks that had been hanging out all winter, as well as some long-tailed ducks. This was also Will's first time ever seeing Lake Michigan. All right, we're here on the Sheboygan lakefront with Will. This is his first time ever seeing Lake Michigan, and uh, hopefully we'll find some of our targets today. Will, what are your first, what are your first thoughts of the lake? Oh, uh, it's cool, and I don't know why I didn't think that you couldn't see the other side. I feel like I should have known that, but it just shows how little I know about the area. So I'm excited to get going. Are you surprised by how big the waves are out there? Uh, yeah, I'm also surprised. Derek just told me that people surf out here. Yeah. No, thank you. They get uh, icicles in their beard and stuff. Dry suit, for sure. Oh god. Yeah, okay. I'll, I, I would pass on that. <laughs> we spotted many of the usual winter visitors, including lesser scop and red-breasted mergansers. And then, Will spotted something different. Yes, that is a star. Yeah, that's um, Okay. We got one! <laughs> All right, well, first lifer, how does yeah. it feel? Awesome, I'm excited. Spotted it himself, so hey, I did. yeah, I can perfect. Take for that one. Female white-winged scoters like this one are dark brown with two white spots on the face and a white wing patch. Males have a distinctive bulgy looking bill that's orange and red with a white comma mark near their eye and a white wing patch. Scoters can be difficult to find in Wisconsin, so seeing one is always a welcome sight. After enjoying our views of the scoter, we moved to the marina to see if we could find the harlequin ducks there, or a recently reported glaucus gull. Here we encountered a gorgeous male hooded merganser, flocks of herring gulls, and more. So there's a definite black duck and two common mergs on the ice out there. I'm seeing a lot of the gold now. Yeah. That's a ring neck duck on the left. Yeah. On the right, it looks like a scob. We moved back down to the jetties to rescan the lake, but this time we had a much different result, giving Will views of his lifer harlequin ducks. God, that's gorgeous. All right, well let's get a let's get a closer look. Heck yeah! Oh, there's two of them. There should be three. What? Those are like my new favorite duck now. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh my gosh! I can't remember if I voted for them in the duck. Bracket. You well, if we do it again, you have to. <laughs> Obligated. <laughs> if we do it again now. I have to. Yeah. <laughs> well, cool. Let's get out when you get a closer look. Okay, sweet. Harlequins. So I flew up from Florida for two main targets: snowy owl, which we're going for later, and these harlequin duck. So I'm excited. Male harlequin ducks are extravagantly colored birds that are rather small in size. Their traditional wintering range doesn't include Wisconsin, but a few males have overwintered in Sheboygan for the last few years. These birds have become local celebrities, and people have come from all over to see them. We got the harlequin ducks, and I saw a report that people actually had the long-tailed duck and the glaucus gull earlier, so we're going to keep looking, see if we can get some more birds here in Sheboygan. We quickly moved down the coastline, and Will got eyes on another lifer, the long-tailed duck. Yep. Nice! Okay, 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 okay. So, let me get you on it first before we celebrate. <laughs> all um, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it? Yep. Long-tailed ducks breed in the Arctic, but can be found in Wisconsin annually during the winter. Males have extravagant non-breeding plumage, with long tail feathers, and females are more drab, with shorter tail feathers. 
The distinguishing feature of the female from other small ducks is their lighter head with gray cheeks. After getting Will some lifers on the lakefront, we stopped at some forested habitat in search of an exotic species that actually breeds in Wisconsin. All right, now we're at a park in Sheboygan looking for a great tit, so we'll see if we can find it. It's really hit or miss here. Um, sometimes I come and see them, sometimes I don't, so we'll see. That's some of the joys of birding, actually, the, the fact that you aren't guaranteed to see it, and then when you do, it just makes it that much better. Overall, the forest was very quiet, except for a few birds. Thankfully, one was a bird that Will actually needed for his life list, the white-breasted nuthatch. Up here. Yep, yep. There you go. Hey, it's amazing, thank you. You're welcome. I know it's a very trivial bird for you, but that, it's a life for me. Off the nut hatch. I don't know what Bam. that dance was, but we're just gonna, we're gonna work with it, <laughs> and maybe it won't make the cut. <laughs> the nut hatch dance. Yeah, sure. Then, right before we were about to leave, another birder pointed out a species that can be hard to find. That also turned out to be a lifer for Will, the brown creeper. Booyah. Awesome. Nuthatch creeper. Hey. You feel like a new man, Will? I, oh my gosh, you don't even know the half of it. I'm starting to conquer the Midwest, Northeast. I don't even know what region of Wisconsin is technically in. Midwest. Midwest, great. Okay, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, but. If anyone else is thinking about, oh, I'm watching these videos, it sounds cool, I've never been up to Wisconsin. I've never been up to Wisconsin. I just emailed them and then Ryan got back to me and now I'm out here with Derek and Derek is persistent as heck, dude. We did like three or four hours looking for um, those three ducks. Was it three? Three or four? We had three, like I think, 11 yeah. and we left at like 1.30. We got three lifers, it was fantastic. So that's part of what makes them really good birders, part of. Um, so anyway, I would highly recommend to reach out to them. They're super nice. And uh, let's see where we go next. We made one final stop in Milwaukee to scan the coast for other scoter species, but didn't have any luck. Will finished his first half day in Wisconsin with five new lifers, including one of his main targets, the Harlequin duck. If you'd like to take a birding tour with us, send us an email at badgerlandbirding at gmail.com. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Yeah.